hey guys welcome back to another video as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail today's video is going to be another diy project on how to create these very very cute denim slides levi's to be exact you guys love my diy videos so i thought it'd be the perfect idea to basically record me doing them because i know you guys would like to see them um and also i posted on my social medias already and everyone was in love with them they're very easy they're very very easy to do they're just a little bit time consuming but it was extremely inexpensive mine was very very um well mine was free i didn't have to buy anything but i'm gonna let you guys know where you can get the products from in order to um complete this look and if you guys like to see how i achieved these slides then stay tuned to this video before we get into this video please make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so that you guys never miss any more uploads Okay, so here's a couple of the products that you would need to complete this um, DIY. First, you will need some slots, preferably some that you can actually fit. does not matter how the slides look because by the end of the um, project, you will not be able to see the slots. These are just some random slides that I found in my closet that I've never worn before. Didn't have any plan on wearing them, so I just decided to use those very cushiony very comfortable feeling also you want to make sure that you get some scissors because scissors would be very very necessary of course you'll need to cut the fabric out also you need some e6000 glue e6000 glue is the best glue to use for fabrics preferably jeans and everything also you'll need a pen so because the jeans will be covered in well the slides will be covered in completely jean fabric you will need some jeans of course so you want to make sure that the jeans you are using is just not you're not going to be using anytime soon or just don't want because you'll be completely destroying them so first you just want to lay the jeans down backwards as if you're about to get ready and iron them but you know backwards and then you're just going to get your scissors and then you're just going to cut right under the i would say right under the pockets you want to cut both pants leg right under the pockets and then you're just going to keep the actual leg part so once you get done you're going to have two pieces of fabric and the other part the part that now look like shorts you're also going to keep those too because you'll need those later on in the video as well and now you're just going to turn both pants and leg inside out. You want to turn them inside out because it's going to be easier and it's going to be better and more efficient when you get ready and trace the actual suit, shoe. So you're going to get your shoe. It doesn't matter which shoe you use. I just grabbed one. You're going to use your pen and you're going to trace literally the exact shape of the shoe. You want to make sure that the, the tracing is not too big or not too small because that's going. you want it to fit perfectly into the shoe basically. And then now I have a trace down, but I want to make sure that I actually see that trace. So when I cut it, it's easier for me to cut it without having any problem. All right, so now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to be cutting around the entire trace. Very, very simple. Um, um, very, very simple step to do. You just want to make sure that you're very focused because you want it to be precise as possible. It may not be perfect, but you just want to make sure that you are close to it as possible so that you won't have to add any extra fabric pieces um, later on um, in the project. So now, and because earlier you turned the jeans inside down, now you have a total of two pieces of fabric which look the exact same. And now, as you guys can see, they are um, a different size. So one is for left foot, one is for the right foot. So you're just going to basically match each one with the correct um, slide. So that one goes to that slide, and then you're going to put the other one inside the other slide as well. And then you're going to take your E6000 glue. I love E6000 glue. You can use any fabric glue, but E6000 glue is better to me. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so you're just going to take your E6000 glue, and you're just going to put enough glue on the back of the, um the back of the fabric keep in mind you do want to make sure that you are applying the glue on the back part on the um the inside out part you want the actual jean part to be facing up so that you can actually see that 
So you're just going to put enough E6000 glue or just glue whatever glue you use on that shoe. So that, you know, it can be stick down. Everything can look like how the way it's supposed to look. And you're just going to do both. You're going to do the same to both shoes. All right, so now you're just going to take the remainder, the remaining leftovers of that, of those jeans that you used earlier, the jean, the part that looks like an actual, that, look, that looks like shorts. You want to take that part of the jeans and then you're just basically going to make the strap. Um, in this video, I use one strap slide. You can use two strap slides. The same thing applies for any kind of slide that you use. You're just going to use the, um, just like I'm doing in the video, you guys can see. I can't really explain it through words, but it's very clear in the video exactly what I'm doing. You're just going to use a pen and you're just going to trace exactly where to where you would need to cut it so you want to be like I said very precise through this whole project if you're not as precise as possible um, you can find yourself adding extra pieces of fabric which can also be extra time consuming So now you just want to make sure that you're basically sizing and positioning exactly where you're going to put the fabric at before you actually apply the glue. Just because it can be easier when you apply the glue, you know exactly where you want to put it at. So very, very cute. Very, very easy. You know, not too much to it at all. So that's exactly what we're just going to be doing. I'm just exactly showing you guys how it'll look before I actually glue it. Just to kind of see if I like it the way that it is. So yeah. And so now I'm just going to be applying the E6000 glue. I would honestly prefer you guys to apply the E6000 glue on the actual sandal, on the actual slide, rather than putting it on the um, jeans first and then putting it on the slide, and then sticking it to the slide because the that part of the jeans, that particular part of the jeans is pretty thick. So it's going to be a hard time actually keeping the E6000 glue on there. So that was a little bit tricky, but I ended up finding a way to be able to do it without... Uh, it you know messing up on me or whatever and so this part this is where i'm going to actually get my levi's um sticker from i guess you want to call it i don't know exactly what it's called but i use i had to use another pair of jeans because the pair of jeans that i use the levi's sign that was on there it was too small i ended up using it later on but i wanted one that was big so i think that the big ones usually come on the men's jeans so i just found a pair of men's jeans around the house you don't have to use like a levi's sign at all you don't have to even have levi's on your on your sandals you can just do regular dim sandals but i had an inspiration picture that i wanted to follow so that's why i decided to use that instead so now i'm just going to size the position exactly where i want it to go and then i'm just going to put some e6000 glue on the back and then i'm just going to stick it on there and also you guys see a couple of bobby pins on my sandals because bobby pins are also very necessary for this project just because like i said earlier you may find the e6000 glue coming up a little bit well the fabric coming up a little bit even though you applied enough glue so yeah To get the bottom of your jeans and this is how you're going to get the rim of your sandals just going to take the very very bottom of the jeans where it's like a little bit hard and you're just going to measure that and wherever you know you get enough or whatever and then you're going to get your pen and then you're going to basically measure exactly where you need to cut so that it'll be able to fit around the sound as much as you need to Then, of course, you take more E6000 glue, and then you just want to press the fabric onto the rim of the um, slides. Like I said, you want to apply the E6000 glue onto the slides and then add the, then put the fabric on top. And then that's just how it looks at the end. Okay, so the next step, you're going to take the same pair, the same leg of the, the same leg that you've been using. You're going to take that and then you're going to use the side of the jeans, which I'm doing now in the video. And you're just going to cut down. You're going to measure exactly how much you need. And then once you cut it, you're going to basically cut that piece of fabric in half where the 
where the hem is as you guys can see i'm pointing at it you're going to cut that down so that it'll be easy at you it'll be easy for you to be able to um glue it onto the sandal And then you're just going to keep that piece of fabric that the hem is attached to. And now you're just going to measure it, size the position, and try to see exactly where you want it to be placed. And then you're just going to add your E6000 glue. And that's exactly how you're going to get the rim of the platform of the sandal. And so now the other shoe is actually finished. It was over to the side drying. This is the second one. And basically, I'm not going to go all into deep detail about that. You're just going to do the exact same thing to this shoe. I just wanted to add a few clips of me doing certain things to this. And also, you guys can see, I started using the hot glue gun because I actually ran out of E6000 glue. So I definitely prefer you guys, well, not prefer, but if you have E6000 glue, I prefer E6000 glue. But if you ran out or if you can't get any, I definitely recommend some um, hot glue as well high glue a high glue gun as well because they actually worked i did not expect it to work so that's how both sandals look in the end very very cute y'all i'm so proud of myself for a tea for this oh my god oh my god so this part is optional you don't have to add any extra accessories to it i just thought it'd be pretty cute to add some little chains to it or whatever this is our like the most randomest chain i've seen like I, that i've ever picked up i just found this in my closet so i just thought it'd be cute to add on to there like i said it's optional you don't have a chain you have to worry about adding it to your shoe but it just be something very cute very extra to put on basically i'm just measuring the chain i wanted the chain to be pretty loose on the strap i don't know because i don't know just gonna give some type of extra style to it if there was a little bit loose so i just wanted to do that and then basically you're just going to get put some high glue put some glue high glue will add some glue from the high glue gun or your six e6000 glue you're going to put some glue on the back of that uh, belt loop that you guys see on my strap that's what i'm doing right now in the video gonna add a little bit of glue like a little dot of it and then you're just going to attach the chain to that um inside it and then you're going to do the exact same to the other side i purposely wanted to do to add what well, to make sure that i had two belt loops on the strap because i wanted to add um chains to my strap when i got done so now i decided to do three different strap i mean three different chains on my strap i did two big ones and i did a small one in the middle just because i just felt like it really looked like a shoe that you actually buy in store Regardless of adding E6000 glue or glue from a high glue gun, regardless, the chains aren't going to go nowhere. You don't have to worry about the chains coming off or anything. So when done, you guys, sandals should look exactly like this. I'm so happy that they came out the way that I wanted them to come out. Literally perfect. Could not have asked for better. I love my life. You guys like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video, of course. Comment down video suggestions that you guys like to see. Turn your post notifications that you guys don't miss any more uploads. And yes, ma'am, I'll see you guys in the next video.